number two. But we start with this. Thousands of people across our state depend on child care in order to get and keep their jobs. But that service may soon be unavailable for some at the end of the month. Good afternoon. I'm Chris Loving. Good in for Jeff Hogan. And I'm Renee Chu. COVID era funding runs out at the end of June, leaving many businesses scrambling to keep the doors open. Two events address that issue this morning. We begin with WRL's Julian Grace, live from downtown Raleigh. Julian. <laughs> Hey, Renee, right now we're in the middle of a march with a number of child advocates. You can see them all around me here as we pan, pan around. And they want to send a strong message out here today. And here is the message. In the triangle, the typical family already pays 16000 a year for child care. Now, many in this group say they have written and called House Speaker Tim Moore to convince him to get the GOP to dip into the state's billion-dollar surplus to help fund child care. Now, Democratic state lawmakers say the state has the money to fund the gap and could do so as part of a new state budget which begins on July 1st. Now today in the midst of this crowd we spoke with one child care provider who urged the state of North Carolina to do more. Today in North Carolina, many families struggle to access affordable child care, quality child care. This is just not a child care issue. This is a moral issue. Yeah. 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 It is about the justice and compassion. Our children are the foundation of our future. And investing in their early education and care is not a luxury, it's a necessity. Well, as you can see, coming back out here live, the group is now having a discussion before they head inside to the General Assembly here to make that push for state lawmakers to fill the gap of that federal funding that is now gone. Later tonight at 4, 5, and 6, we will talk with the mother who is out here, and she will tell us how all of this is impacting her not having that federal funding to help take care of her children. you hear from her all new later tonight. Reporting in downtown Raleigh, Julian Grace, WRL News. And building on what Julian was just talking about, new numbers released today show how child care issues impact the workplace and the state economy. Business leaders met in Raleigh to discuss access to affordable child care. The North Carolina Chamber Foundation shared their findings from a new survey. It shows the state is losing nearly $6 billion in economic impact a year because of this issue. 35% of parents who experience difficulty with child care reported leaving the workforce. There is a lack of access to affordable quality child care. So we know that there's these conversations happening around the short term immediate needs within this industry. And that's something that state leaders are grappling with. We're providing data to help inform these conversations. These numbers come as federal funding for child care is set to end in the coming weeks. New at noon, Durham police need your help identifying the driver of a vehicle connected with a shooting on Fayetteville Street. Look at your screen here. 